Oh, it's a stray out with a reading for the collective. I'll take what resonates throughout the rest. I swear these airplanes only show up when <laughs> I press the record button. No, it's probably just the only time I notice them. All right. Something's going on in your dreams or someone's getting some very uh, potent dreams. They are wanting to compromise. They want to make it work. They want to come back together. Right now, they're feeling very introverted. They're not, they're not really saying anything. They're holding back their feelings, but they are obsessively spying on you. If you don't have social media, then they are thinking about you a lot. Some cases, very few of you, they could be in your neighborhood, but watching, but not in a dangerous way. Drive by, you know, circling the block, that kind of thing. They have uh, a lot of conflict right now with their karmic partner um, and feel like it's a lesson, a life lesson that they had to go through. Um, I feel like they are really missing the love is part of it, but an, an actual friendship. Um, so for those of you that um, resonate with this, well, let's just keep going and see. Um, I pull out the dream cards because I feel like... Those are important, so dreams, pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending messages through your dreams. So I feel like this is, you're either getting dreams about this person or they're having dreams about you. I feel like it's more them. What, what do we need to know about, about these dreams? Huh, it has to do with change creativity what I find also interesting about this is that it's got heavy sacral chakra uh, energy and I know the divine feminine has been really feeling a lot of activity in that area so your person you feel activated in your sacral chakra and your person is getting dreams that have sacral chakra energy that has to do with change and creativity. One more for the dreams? Is there one more? Actually, I think that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't it. We have a lot that flew out, landed on the ground. I thought that I thought the deck was done, but it's not. Awakening projects renewal, creativity projects. Huh. So your person is dreaming about you. It's almost like creativ creativity. I have to say. It's passion, but it's there's something else. It's like a creative connection. It's still lower chakra. So there's a sensuality to it, but that's the wrong word. Um, creation is under this deck here. So more creation. Creativity, creation, projects. I feel like they're dreaming about how to, what to do with you, move forward with you. These are the other ones that came out. Mother, healing, alchemy, ladies mantle, snake, release, silver, goddess, insight, new waxing moon, conception, inner self, expansion, I feel like a lot of you are going through changes that your masculine is picking up on. 
and and that's what I was gonna say earlier is whether you want to be with them or not. If you're if you still have that cord, uh, they are picking up on you a lot, and it's almost like having visions or sharing energy about what's happening in your life and how and it's like they're incorporated in it somehow and. Something about the moon cycle, um, it's almost like they're being given a time frame. There could be goddess energy guiding them. There's a lot of water here as well. So if you resonate with strong water energy, that's part of it. Or something creative around water that there's been a rebirth and a, and some healing maybe you've done some healing around parenting or mother figures and with that moon here that feels even stronger and somehow that's being integrated into your masculine psyche that he's dreaming or some sort of astral dream lessons <laughs> right when i said lessons i looked at the bottom of the deck now and we've got school lessons here so the other thing though too is that with this goddess snake ladies mantle mother kitchen creation waxing if there was any sort of like feminine energies that were family feminine energies that were like mother figures that were <sighs> manipulating things trying to manipulate things that cycle is finished or something about the moon cycle or something that you've overcome and the creativity is leading the way in a really big way this your sacral chakra that this any manipulation is not going to work it's all it's healing the alchemy is yours somehow this is transferring over to your masculine i hope that all i hope that all makes sense it's kind of a little cryptic compromise I just saw the six of wands and the four and the four of wands. So I feel like I feel like they want to join with you in this energy, and they want to compromise. But it's almost like they're being led in their dreams. Might want to get married. I feel like they think that they could they be successful with you. Whatever this project and creativity is. Or approaching your life creative, creatively, whatever this vision is that's coming from you, from your sacral, this has needed healing for a long time, either because it's been being attacked or manipulated or whatever the reason is. It's very strong. It's like you've taken your power back. Um, but it's it's not even. It's like your power. You were, you were battling a lot. It's more like that than it's power loss. I don't think you think in terms of power that you have lost your power, but there was a lot to, uh, yeah, there you go. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is very creative and, um, confident, has a sensuality, it matches this creativity very closely. So I definitely am feeling like this masculine energy is wanting to figure out a way to This masculine might not even realize why they're having these strong impulses unless they're remembering their dreams. But in some cases I'm feeling they might, they're getting big, big, big downloads and then waking up with this feeling like they want to ask you to compromise and that they want to build something with you. 
introverted, holding back, not saying much, closed off. Six of Cups. Hmm. A lot of you have had to keep this journey to yourself because either either you got sort of anecdotal responses from people that didn't quite understand what was going on that might have made comparisons to past loves from their lives and whether they meant well or not it wasn't the same because they couldn't get get this connection they didn't understand this is like even past life energy this is unconditional love it feels very familiar and um, so you've kept this to yourself for a really long time. Um, you might have no one to talk to about this at all. And so you've lived your life growing exponentially without anyone having any clue. People might have seen little signs <laughs> that you've changed, it, changed, not changed, <laughs> um, changed. I don't know, maybe there's someone that has an accent that says change it around you. Um, but this introvert makes me feel like this masculine is going through that. Because I don't think this is you, except for that. You might have been more expressive all of this energy and this beauty is inside of you and and but you might have had to navigate a lot of stuff and are now holding back from this masculine energy and a lot of other people so people don't know what's going on with you so i feel like this is mirroring right here because that's why we have obsession coming up because you're hard to kind of scope out and get a feel for and even energetically they can't feel you the way you you have figured out how to shut the door and so that's why they are obsessing because they can't get like a latch like they used to you, you're better at turning on and off the spigot so between the two of you this person in their own life is holding back and not saying much about this connection and you've been on this journey for so long that you've managed to use introversion and not saying much as a navigation skill. Obsessed, spying, social media, infatuation. Whoa, death. not presently sure what that pertains to this could be something that they are going through a major transformation or you are may have major endings you could have really just said i'm leaving this person behind in spite of whatever this connection is whatever they did was just too much and you are moving on and so this person is forced to experience this kind of total ending because it didn't become clear to them until you walked away, but now it, for you, it's feeling too late. For others of you, um, this person, you could be moving on and have closed the spigot, but haven't, you're on the fence, but for them, they feel like it's over, but that's why they want to come forward and compromise. Or for others, they, they, they are also going through a transformation an ending in their lives, they might have someone that's spying on them while they're also watching you. A lot of like obsession going on here. Past karmic partners, um, your DM spying on you. Um, very intense dreams here happening and introverted not saying much also with like a lot of conflict from this karmic and karmic energies but also friendship was really lacking in friendships because it's so clear to them what this is 
and it's impossible to, to discuss with anyone. You are the only one that will can they can fully bounce off of to get clarity. But it's also something about awakening or feeling alive and energized, like the sunflower here with this queen of wands. It's just, it's just, it's in a lot of ways, it's just simply being in this unconditionally loving energy now, but also losing that with this death card. So just very much obsessed with you. Conflict, karmic partner lessons. Page of Wands, so they might want to tell you news, something to do with these arguments or th this uh, karmic partner that they're having conflict with. There might be some news coming out in regards to them and this masculine is concerned about it or that is what's about to come soon. Someone's cons or they're concerned about how to announce that they're... The conflict is about... This could be a milestone, a celebration, marriage, union, a message about union. This is a, like home sweet home, a perfect place to manifest from, a union. So news of a union, karmic partner and this masculine are fighting over news of a union news of a milestone let's have three of cups here as well celebration let me get a little bit more clarity on what that is page of wands, four of wands. i'm gonna do page of wands first and then four of wands interesting I just had a reading about that I'm trying to dis I see trying to distract your person from the vision so that's what the conflict is about it's almost like how to move forward like I'm hearing you don't even know what you're doing you don't even know you how is that going to, and then I can't hear the rest of the sentence. Uh, this is going to, and then something about. Make our family. I'm not really sure. It's basically trying to dissuade this person from believing in all of this that's very clear to them. It's about how things are going to look. This masculine feels like this karmic energy. This was a uh, life lesson. And they are definitely moving on, moving forward. They could have already had a, a death. That's what this death is and everyone's very obsessive. But this karmic energy is still trying to dissuade this masculine. They could have even moved home, but there's still, there could be a child or there, this, you know, karmic energy is still in the picture here. Excitement, yeah, this is clarifying this four of wands. So there's all this inspiration and like, thoughts on all of the potential. This is the energy of the masculine. Where this can go. Feeling invigorated for the first time in a really long time. But, so the conflict is, is about... This masculine wants to feel good and to succeed and be happy and be with someone that they care about. And this karmic energy, there's a lot of fighting though. 
disagreements about the way forward, disagreements about the vision, disagreements about how to live life, and also like how other others, what others will think, and how to include others, and and just the pragmatic parts of like being socially driven and how things appear. And so it might start out by like negotiations, but it turns into a conflict because they're not on the same page. So I get one more. Tell me more about this karmic partner conflict, please. I feel like this wants to come out too. All right, we've got rat someone working against you behind your back family wishes coming true someone working against you behind your back karma you will reap what you have sown okay and then under the deck mule someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change so so what it is, is I think that this person, this, this karmic energy has done some things in the past as well. This is about dreams coming true. There's been a lot of manipulation in the past and it's still happening now. This masculine knows that for one, this energy has been working against you behind your back, but also behind this masculine energy this karmic energy is still doing this now it has to do with this three of cups more than one individual involved they're experiencing karma i think both are experiencing karma this has to do with wishes coming true and i feel like this is also like the potential that this masculine wants to head towards but there's a lot of fighting i think this masculine energy is also angry that they feel betrayed they feel betrayed. They feel betrayed more than just this karmic, though. I feel like because of family wishes coming true, there's like family as well involved here. There's a lot of energies trying to dissuade this masculine from moving towards what is making their heart beat and makes them feel like they're in their purpose that they're also dreaming about. But it feels like they're more driven to come towards you because of this negotiation here wanting to figure out a way to compromise after everything that's happened and be assertive about their ideas. And that's the energy that they're carrying. So in spite of the fact that this fighting is going on, uh, this, this energy is like not wanting to give in. This karmic energy is they're just being very um, stubborn and they're unwilling to change as well. So, if this if this final ending hasn't happened yet that's what the conflict is about it's about where this this masculine wants to go multiple individuals family friends trying to dissuade them or distract them trying to cut them down for feeling how they do about their vision trying to stop them from the things that they feel will make them happy it's a lot of pushback and this karmic energy, a lot of conflict happening right now. Um, and under the deck now we have great passion. They're feeling very passionate about this move, which I feel like matches this creativity card. So that's what's happening. And I, I hope that helps. Bye.